I met uh, Derek Akora the other week. Oh, yeah. Right. Now, um, who's he? Which one's he? He's uh, is he is he a medium? He can contact the dead. Is that right? He just chats to him and that sure. passes messages on. Nice of him. So I said, oh, tell us something a bit weird and that. So mm. he said, what do you want to know? I said, just just something weird. So he goes, all right then. He said, uh, here's one for you, right? And he said, uh, there's this pub out in the country, and uh, he said, there's this mug. Do you know those old mugs that they have, where they used to they used to like leave their own cup, knock like it about. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The tankard thing. Yeah. So, uh, so there was there was one of them mugs in there, right? And everybody tankard. Like, Let's use a tankard if we've right, established yeah. afterwards. Tankard, yeah. Because yeah. you're the only mug in this story. Right. Nice. Believing it all. High five. <laughs> Great. So Go this on. tankard's knocking about, right? And everyone who's running the pub keeps going. Oh, I wish they'd stop leaving this tankard about, right? Mm. And they pick it up. <laughs> it must be a pain. <laughs> Having a, a tiny, small tankard in a pub, that must be a real grind. So, so every t- they sort of picked it up and went, we'll have to wash that, and they popped it on a different mm. sideboard. You know, that person who's touched it died, right? Sure. <laughs> so, <laughs> they must have been getting through bar staff. So they got, so they kept getting a new staff and that, and they were like, oh, what's the connection here? Right? <laughs> what's the connection here? Oh, God. So they get a vicar in. Of course they do. And they go, look, um, there's a lot of weird stuff going on here. This this tankard. Every time someone touches it, they die. So he said, "Leave it with me." He gets his um, special water out and what have you. He comes round, does a little prayer, sprinkles it. He goes, "Right, not a problem. Don't worry about it." He picks it up, chucks it in again. Guess what? What? Dies in the crash on the way. Because he picked it up. Well, but 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 Carl, you're telling me this like it's fact, and I'm meant to go. That's amazing. Delicate Cora. He told me. <laughs> It's Carl, I have, I have, I have, I have no opinion of that story, other than I'm pretty sure there was absolutely no connection between touching the tankard and him dying. That's all I'm sure it's of. It's not just him, though, is it? I, I, I'm, I, I'm, I, you know, I'm not going to even um, uh, contest the, the chain of events. All I'm saying is there is no connection. There is no connection possible because I believe in logic and the laws of the universe. Yeah, but what I mean, you never pick up a vibe of. Like, I, I, I've got a mate, right, who. Uh, He's, he's living in this big, stately home. He's living in there now. He pays £100 a month. There's about 80 rooms. Jeez. And uh, it's this big, stately house, might have you. And I went, I went down there. He said, oh, come down and have a look, right? And from outside, you go, oh, this is brilliant. It's like something out of, you know, like the Manor Born or something. You go, this is, this is impressive. But then when you get in, it's like, it's a wreck. And, and we go in, and all the floors are like a wreck and rotten and stuff. And I looked at the wall, and there was like a little piece of paper stuck on the wall, oh. right? And I said, what's this here? So I wandered over, right? Got right up close to it, and somebody had wrote it. <laughs> <laughs> somebody had wrote it? No. Oh. Some, somebody had wrote it. Right. Like, I love someone, this. Right, go, yeah, go on, so, sorry. sorry so there's, but... there's a little sign there, right? And I go up to it, and it says, flies, right, with an arrow, flies, like, flies this way, yep. right? I think that's that's a bit weird. So I follow the arrow, right, which goes to this corner where there's a shelf, about three thousand dead flies on it. Oh my god! Condom stuck on the top. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's, right. that's weird, isn't that it? That is weird. That is that weird. Is weird. Right? So I'm looking at that, and there's there's loads of stuff on the floor and that bits of paper. Picked up this bit of paper, right, and it had uh, like in biro and that. It looked really old, like it'd been there years, and it had. Uh, uh, something like need nappies, dummy, right? Uh, blankets, blah, blah, all this, like all stuff for like. And I turned it over, right? And it said, none of this now needed, baby dead. <laughs> right. <laughs> now that's weird, isn't it? Now that's what I'm talking about when you get a bad vibe. You go, that's, that's, who's been in here? It's bad vibe. It's just based on the fact that your mate's in charge. <laughs> yeah, that's terrifying. <laughs> I mean, yes. Yeah, so it's like saying, "Are we scared of the dark?" Yes. It's, I understand why people are scared of the dark. I'm a little bit scared of the dark. You're walking along because you, you don't know what's in it. Yeah, you don't yeah. know what's in the darkness. That's why people get nervous. It doesn't mean you have to make the leap then that you've got some paranormal sense. Oh my God, I'm Carl Pilkington, and hang on, just like Derek Akora, I have sensed something strange and evil in this room. Wait a minute, there's some flies in a condom. <laughs> I was right all along. That is weird. Flies and a Johnny equals badness. <laughs> the, the, the flies and the condom was weird It's enough. weird. I don't know but, that it's... But, but the note... The note... Yeah. I just think of his face when he saw that. Reading it by torchlight. You must have been terrified. It's a bit... It's a bit odd, isn't it? <laughs>